What is up, guys? Welcome back to Picking a Fight. I'm Latch. I'm Jeff. And today we're going to be looking at the co-main event of UFC 268, Thug Rose Nama Yunus versus Magnum Zhang Wei Li. What you think, Jeff? This one is extremely close. I, when, I, when I was doing my research for this one, I, oof, I was torn, bro. Because as much as like I like Zhang Wei Li's uh, like banging style, but but I also like Rose Nama Yunus' like technical style. Yeah. Um, I think... Zhang Weili's fight against Joanna kind of gave us like a taste of what what this match is going to be like. Um, I think the first fight ended a little too too quick, you know, not a lot of punches thrown or whatever. Yeah, there's not a lot of to see, to be honest. Yeah, I think this one's going to go a lot different, you know. She she cut her hair, you know. That means you know she's lighter. She, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> bro. <laughs> No, I mean she's going through some crap, bro. Yeah, that bro. Means, you know, people she's, know the only time you cut your hair is when you are going through a breakup. <laughs> or you just lost the world title and you trying to get it back for real. <laughs> that's the only time you cut your hair, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, that's true. And you know when she cut it, you know, look at her success, bro. Right now she's back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. Now she's coming to take that jump back. Yeah, she lost to Carlos Barza. She cut her hair and now look, two time champ. That's true. The only loss she had was against uh, Jessica Andrade. Oh yeah, she, got, she got slammed. Dropped on her head. Yes, that was pretty freaking brutal. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, back to this fight. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Yeah, I I mean, uh, like I I think uh, Rose her key to win. I think she has to stick with the feints, and I think in the in the beginning of the fur the first matchup, I felt like she was doing that very well. Yeah, for sure, she was doing a good job. Mm-hmm. And I think in this fight, I think she might incorporate a little more ground game. Mm. Um, I think there's a possible submission that could go on here. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think Rose is really gonna initiate the takedown like that. I don't think but, so. But um, if it does get there, I think she's creative enough to get a submission. Um, I think she has to stick the jab. I think when Joanna was sticking the jab to Zhang Weili, she was really having a hard time, at least in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, Adjusting to it. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I think that's what she has to do to win. What you think? No, oh, yeah, I agree. The feints, you know, you got to keep her guessing. The feints is a big reason why she ended up landing that kick in the first place anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, the ground game, I also, I also don't see Rose being the one initiating that. But we all know uh, her takedown defense, I think, is okay. I mean, she got overpowered by Andrade, but, I mean, she um, people forget Andrade was slamming girls. At that time, she was slamming everybody, like, for real, for real. Yeah. And um, the jab, yeah, the jab, got to she got to pop that out. Uh, she I think she, um, in, usually her, in her usual fights, I think she does a good job of uh, getting those jabs out. Um, I think Jane Whitley's going to have a hard time closing the distance, you know, um, the reach isn't too crazy, but um, Rose just fights a longer type of style, a rangier type of fight. She's a ranger yeah. type of fighter compared to Whaley, who's more like a pocket fighter, you know, um, ready to throw the hooks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so this is pretty much a pretty bad matchup for Zhang Whaley. Um, you know, looking into this fight, um, the wrestling is a big question because, I mean, um, you know, she tr- used to train in China. She moved her camp here to train under the king of cringe, Triple C, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. you know, her wrestling is a it has been, you know, there's been a big emphasis put on that. And so I think, you know, her strength, you know, she's going to be strong. Um, she might be able to take Rose down, but I think the submissions you're talking about might come from there. You know, Zhang Weili is going to be in a little bit of a foreign situation where she's the one trying to initiate the grappling and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we've seen how slick Rose can be with the submission, so I I think that spells a lot of, you know, it's not a, it's not a good, I think a good game plan in my opinion. I think it's too mm-hmm. dangerous, especially for, um, Wei Li being so green with the wrestling. You know, mm-hmm. she can only learn so much, and um, Rose has been doing, you know, she's been submitting people for for since she got into the UFC, since Ultimate Fighter, you know. Yeah. So I I just don't think that's a great way to kind of um go into this fight um i think she is strong enough to take her down i don't know if she will be able to to be honest i think rose got some pretty good takedown defense mm-hmm. um she you know her primary defense is you know offense she tries to, she she threatens submissions you know yeah so draw she was threatening the kimura to stop the takedown and um honestly i think i think andrade is stronger than way libra even though she's smaller and i'm pretty sure she's smaller right she's like yeah. five two or something mm-hmm. i think andrade is built different for real bro. <laughs> i think she's just strong bro and then um I don't think Wei Li's gonna be able to take her down, and um, I think her only option is if they go to war. She has a war, like kind of like Joanna did. But I don't see Rose doing that. You know, she didn't go to war with Andrade. Uh, you know, she did a good job keeping her distance. And I think this is gonna be almost an identical fight to that, where she's you know, because I I think Andrade is a more dangerous fighter in terms of power. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But um, Whaley is obviously more versatile with their striking and stuff like that. But so I think if it's huh, I was gonna say, but but Jessica Andrade was shorter. Yeah. So like like the there was the like a bigger was gap. Yeah, bigger gap to mm-hmm. fill. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is gonna be. Um, I mean, Rose has to be perfect. I think. Mm-hmm. You know, I think if this goes to war, I think it benefits Zhang Weili. You know, the fact that it won't be uh, a battle at range. Uh, only benefits Wei Lee. You know, she's been in this type of firefight before and survived it and won it. You know, she beat Johanna that way. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that benefits her. Um, honestly, that's the only way, but I don't see Rose getting sucked into that. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think this is going to be a close one. I think this is going to be like when when, Wei Li, uh, when Rose and Johanna ran it back. I think it's going to go to decision and it's going to be a close one. But I think I'm going to have to go with Thug Rose. I think she's um, shown that she can be technical throughout. Mm-hmm. Even in the bouts she's lost, you know, she's been able to kind of keep her distance and work her own game plan. And she's only getting better. You know, she's under Trevor Whitman. She's, you know, it, it, they're just good, man. And I think she's going to be able to follow through. And I got Rose by decision or, you know, possible submission if Whaley decides to wrestle. But I, I'm going to just stay play safe and say Rose by uh, submission. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, by, uh, by decision. Decision. I said, okay, I got confused. But, yeah. You know, I actually decision. think Zhang Weili has, like, a pretty pretty good chance to win this fight. I mean, okay. I think I think she should avoid this, mm-hmm. right? And that's just my opinion. I mean, yes, she has been training that, you know. But but it's like it's like you don't have that much experience in it. So it's like I don't think that should be your primary weapon going in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think she's – she has to go – I don't think she necessarily has to go to war. But she does have to be the aggressor in this fight. Yeah, she, she has, has to, to walk Rose down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And I, I don't think Rose has the knockout power to to finish her. Mm-hmm. Um, Not with the hands, at least. Yeah. So well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think Wei Li. Um, I think if she presses forward enough, I think she could get the finish. Mm-hmm. Honestly, but I don't see that happening. I think Rose is gonna win. By yeah. Decision this time though. Yeah, I think by decision too. I think this is gonna be a lot closer. I think. Um. You know, if Wei Li gets his decision, obviously they got to run it back a third mm-hmm. time. I think Rose is going to slightly take it. I think Wei Li is a little, uh, I think she fits the bill. I think she's going to be stuck in that um, purgatory, like that middle ground with like Andrade, where she's like, literally, like the, the girl's not good enough. She'll body them, you know. Mm-hmm. But the, the lead girls, they, she won't be able to, to break through, right? Yeah. Uh, that's if she loses, though. If, if Wei Li wins, uh, they're running it back for sure. And they're obviously the, the best two girls in this division, no doubt about it. Yeah. And so sure. I, I hope Wei Li, no lie, I hope Wei Li wins because I'd love to see a third fight, right? Mm. Cause especially if like, Wei Li uh, somehow submits or knocks her out in the early. Oh yeah. my goodness. This is a perfect trilogy right there. Right. <laughs> Probably the greatest trilogy in the women's, in, any women's fight, for real, for real. Yeah, for sure. But, but yeah, I think, I think. I think Doug Rose, you know, is going to come through with the decision. I think she's going to do enough. Here, let me yeah. just make it official. You know, if I had to choose the upset, I think Ray Lee wins by TKO. TK you think so? You think I she think can so. crack her? I think, I think she, I mean, I think she could. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I mean, her, her mix of power and like just um, her ability to like walk some people down, I think. And, you know, Rose's style lets them do that. You know, she, she kind of backs up. Yeah. And if she gets stuck on the fence, I can see her getting maybe caught with some. That's true. Oh, but or taken down in TKO, I, I yeah. see that more off, more. Uh, it's more possible than her taking Rose down. That's true. I mean, or her finishing her on the feet. Or maybe she could incorporate that as like against the fence type stuff. I like feel that would be more effective. Yeah, yeah. As I think. A, if, yeah, I mean, she could work it there. I, that's probably what she's been working with Sahudo with. You know, mm-hmm. wrestling, uh, chain wrestling, putting it all together when she gets her hands class, how to keep her down and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I mean, it's gonna be very interesting to see off the bat what Wei Li does if she initially goes for the wrestling or if she tries to kind of like be more balanced. Mm-hmm. But but I think ultimately Rose is gonna win regardless of where the fight goes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. we both think Doug Rose will be too much for Magnum Wei Li. Um, let us know down below if you agree. Do you think uh, Zhang Wei Li is gonna come with the uh, what's well, technically not an upset, but do you think she'll be able to even the score? Uh, let us know down below uh don't forget to like the video uh subscribe click the little bell right next to the subscribe button you know that's so you can know when we post we post almost every time there's a pay-per-view and almost every time there's a fight night we post a couple videos let us know what you think uh i mean yeah we just let y'all know what we think i mean (laughs) about those fights and and yeah uh ufc 268 is the co-main event it's gonna be a good card this saturday don't don't miss out man